Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shostly Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the hearts. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pots? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. Guys, hey, wahala, be like bicycle. Talking about the gist, I see the heart right now. Wow. It is actually trending in Mili. Now, what happened? Remember, I just told you guys about how Mili um, did a Q&A. You know, I'm very sure you've seen that video by now where I discussed on how Millie funny um Q and A step brows guys. <laughs> Wahala. Do you know that? Hey <laughs> almost this fans, you guys can go like I don't know, like I don't know. So any which ways, yeah. Millie actually shared a very annoying mail that is said to be from Motati Wendy Madibas um fan okay just follow in accordance as i'm gonna give this gist watch to the very end so that you will tell me your two cents about all of this happening okay all right so Meli shared this you know the next day after he did that q a so he said this had to be the most ridiculous thing i have ever experienced for you to waste so much time drafting this nonsense thinking it's gonna move me some of you guys forget that I don't mind playing the bad guy in any narrative made. Hmm, guys. So, when Meli posted this thingy, right? And then, he started staring so much brows, so much thinking, different talks. They were coming for him and everything. And it may seem as though maybe one or two peeps told him to delete it. And he deleted the posts. Meanwhile, sharpshooter like us already have the screenshots of this. Let's see what this person said to Millie that warrants all of this brouhaha going on. Let's read this together. Okay, actually, it started with, hey, Mr. Pantwasher. Yes. And then he said, Mr. Irrelevant, always have things to say about everyone, but can't find solution to your <clears throat> career. Interesting. Even if you have one. Woman rapper always in woman's business and doing follow follow. Kosi have finished using you. It is Marvin's turn to use you. You are in Nigeria for over two months now, eating and mm, Marvin. Okay, your mates are out there hustling to make money. We will sit down there to smoke Ibo, gossip all day. A loser. If you have sense, you will go find job or improve yourself, crafts, so you can be marketable. You are so dumb. Wow. <laughs> this is huge. Good for nothing. Okay. Any opportunity you got, you shade Tati. A whole Tati. Tati is never your mate and never in your level. You low grade dog. Well, you guys need her name to promote your shit wears, your shemail cell. Hmm. You definitely has nothing doing, things to promote. That is, that's why you got to use her name for clout. You are very stupid goat. A goat. I am glad she unfollows you. She doesn't want to have any business with you. And let this be the last time you mention her name. Tati will feed you goats. Better go and hustle and become useful. Because I pity your career. <laughs> this one choco guys. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Advisor. It is you that advise Ipeleng, putting all sort of shit in her head. Still, she's lonely and sad. She can't be happy around your cycle because she doesn't belong there. You guys bring her you guys bring her nearer to spy Tati. Tati doesn't care. Ipeleng is so useless to her. She doesn't need her. She has her good friends who loves her and reciprocates her love, not some dumb adult looking for someone to babysit them. You ruined her life so sad. 
I don't care what you do with Koshit and Marvin. Just know you will forever be their slave. That life suits you though. When Marvin is done feeding you, go back to SA and be opening car door for Koshit so she can continue from there, Dimwit. Wahala. I have never seen a man with no focus, purpose in life, and living in people's shadow. A. Eh? I'm skipping that also, boy. I was supposed to advise you so you can be someone in life, but you deserve to be. Mm, as well, continue to serve Marvin and Kosi. A slave is this deserving trophy too. Now, guys, all of those things you sent to somebody, email. Onto what? Onto Starship. Starship, look at what you make these people do. Fanatics, what is all of this thingy? Like, I really do not get at this point. This doesn't make sense to me at all. You wrote all of these things down to Meli. You sent to his mail. Why? You called Kosi name. You include the plank. You include Marvin. Just for one person. Yo, you guys do too much for this township. Like, it's how people do not use their head anymore. Now, what is the problem? You guys watched the video, yeah? The reply Meli gave when he was asked about, um, what do you have with, um, Tati, your relationship with Tati, he replied with active lifestyle marriage is coming. That is where the problem is coming from. Anyways, there are several reactions on this one. We're going to be seeing some of them, okay? And then you would also tell me what you think about all of this brouhaha. Because to me, this is not funny at all. Like, it doesn't make sense. All because of what? All because he did not um, answer uh, whatever you asked. Like, I don't get. And remember, if you watch the video, you would notice that um, Tati's, um, the reply um, this dude merely gave to Tati's question, he also did something like that when he was asked about Tabang. He was asked about Blue Ever. He also gave funny replies. So how come those people fan base did not come doing all of this thingy? Let me read it from Alia. Was Meli supposed to talk about BBC ex housemates in his Q&A? Tati fans went and asked Meli about Tati when they didn't get the answer. That's why they wanted they wanted they insulted him. What I don't understand, Tati and Meli were not friends in the house. Why people are focusing on Meli to answer questions about Tati? Exactly. And the funny thing also is, why do people always go with what do you have with this person? Are you good with this person? By the, by now, people should get used to when you don't see people together, you know they are not cool with each other, and that is very okay. But fans, they will always be fans. They want to know. They want. They want answer so that they would drag. Now he still did not answer. It is a problem. Okay, I have a question here. I have a question. Do you think what Meli did, the reply he gave, was wrong? You think he would have um just say um no. Or uh, maybe he would have just skip and not reply anything about Tati than using that active lifestyle. Because I know where the major problem is coming is because Meli replied with active lifestyle owned by Kosi. That is where these fans find, found it so annoying. Because of why you guys are actually creating unnecessary rivalry between Tati and Kosi. Like to me, it doesn't make sense. See, all of this right top is, is bladder dash. As far as I am concerned, it doesn't make one sense. All of this right top that I am skipping, those are people's reaction towards what happened. This person says, Meli is full of it. If you really don't get along with the person or people mentioned, why not just ignore? For the fact that you took your time to write this long paragraph, it landed straight in your heart. Meli is not a weak boy. She just used other people's names to fight Meli, Ipileng, Marvin, Kosi. Was it necessary to use their names? Exactly what I'm asking. Just you want to talk to Meli, you use Ipileng's name, you use uh, Marvin's name, you're using Kosi's name. Yo? Hey, or more, he choked for now. Just because he didn't give the answer that you guys wanted, you called him useless and jobless, how about you that had time to go to his email and type this whole paragraph for just one sentence, what are you? Omoicho, guys, hey, Meli did shade Tati. He ignored that person by replying about active lifestyle. He was also asked about other housemates and replied about the blood drive with JP and Mavis YouTube. The thing is, he mentioned active lifestyle, that's where they are paying. What a long paragraph of useless email true 
I said it earlier, I said, I think the reason why they took this one so personal was because of Meli replied that of Tati with active lifestyle. I am very sure if Meli had replied um, that of Tati with um, um, Marvin YouTube studio, um, move, um, what was it called? I said movie. Marvin YouTube, new YouTube that um, video that is out about being banned in South Africa. I'm very sure they wouldn't have taken it personal. But because Kosi name was mentioned, now it's an issue. Omo, you guys need to be coming down for real, for real. He was dramatic and childish. Isn't he the one who asked for questions? Mara Unsonu wait for mentioning a playing. Ipe is doing good as well, working as tough. Meanwhile, do you think, like I asked earlier, do you think that um, this dude would have just ignored? Because what he did there is as good as ignoring um, the question too. You know, he was doing that like he just used anything he wanted to use to reply a particular thing because he's trying to let the fans know that all of those questions are irrelevant. So you guys tell me what you think about all of this happening. But sincerely, even if he had even replied, even if he had even said, oh, um, I don't have a good relationship with Tati or anything. Like writing paragraphs for somebody, <laughs> hey God, wahala. It's just giving the kind of paragraph that I see some people fans write on my comments about their faith. How Mimi do not like their faith. He choke for now. <laughs> Over choke. Like yo, like how, how did it get to this stage for you guys? Like how? How are we going to help you guys with this stanship thingy? That's what I'm thinking about right now. Because a lot of you all need help. Okay, this person said, Kosi, Marvin and the Pileng suffered in the hands of Tati fans, Sana. Also, any is in Pileng bothering you all. The same in Pileng, you all claim she's lonely because she doesn't have baby friends. Sana, baby girl is doing so well more than the Tati with baby friends. Who are just her cheerleaders. It's not like they are her friends and stuff. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Kind of girl who gets that from the so-called friends. Ipileng did well by not being friends with that girl. She would have dimmed her light. A second housemate with working from her set. I'd rather be lonely and working than running around. That is, okay, I'm skipping that. The whole day, screaming, yes, ma'am. You all must leave Ipileng alone. Leave Kosi and Marvin alone. Deal with Meli and leave others' kids alone. Yo. Hey, this actually rendered me speechless. I'm not going to lie. Those ones are wasting their time coming from Millie, someone that doesn't mind being the villain. Meanwhile, guys, I don't know. You know, it's like almost going to two years now that this um, Titan ended. But yet, the drama is still ever new. The only time he gains relevance is shedding Tati so that the winner's fan base can heal him. Millie is a man with a... <laughs> See, when I was actually just seeing you guys about the reply he gave about the questions he was asked about this housemate, I found it so funny. I never even knew he's going to cause any drag. I'm telling you guys. But you know, BB Street, the moment you think something will not cause drag, that's the only thing that would set the space on fire. I would be disappointed if my fans are acting like traders going around looking for me in posts of people they know are not in my cycle. She wanted Meli to talk about Tati. Meli chose to talk about his friend's business. How did Kosi Marvin Iplank end up in the crossfire? Tati and her fans, who only brag about restaurant pictures, are coming for Meli that does that witch headache. Have when all oh, she's dropped wow and fail CEO who fails to sell bikinis. So guys, this is a drama going on currently on the social space. This is the drama going on. So you drop your two cents. Tell me what you think about this brohaha going on with the Tati fans coming for Meli and how Ipileng, Kosi, Marvin's name are included in all of this shenanigans. Kindly tell me what you think in the comment section. I'm going to be dropping my voice right here and now see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.